Hi there, Aries. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl, and we're looking at September 21 through September 27. And there's a lot happening this week. It's a week of change. It's a week of upheaval. And for you, probably the most important thing is that there is a supermoon, a total lunar eclipse in your sign at the very end of the week, September 27. And it's not only going to be a larger moon to look at, supermoon, it's also going to have a very strong gravitational pull. So we can expect some flooding and we can expect that, you know, we might have to get the sandbags out, depending upon where you are, of course. People who live in an area where there's no rivers and no oceans and, and you're just going to have a lot of rain maybe. But if you live by the ocean or by a lake, it's just something to think about. Also, Mars, your ruler, the planet of passion and stamina, moves into Virgo midweek. And it's not necessarily a great fit for Mars because in Virgo, Mars becomes very black and white and has to do things by the book and isn't as excited as it is when it's in other more uh, flamboyant signs, shall we say. But it does get things done and Mars in Virgo is going to be transiting your sixth house of health and well-being and hard work. So it's definitely one of those times when this is a good time to focus on all of those things and more. If, for example, you haven't been working out, you haven't been getting to time on work, or you haven't been as present at work as you know you should be, this is a good time for you to rectify that and for you to do something about it. And, and it can only, you know, just mean just being more present when you're there, turning off your cell phone, going in and talking to everyone and finding out what's going on and how everyone's doing, what issues are coming up. Keeping in mind that Mercury, the planet of communication and clear thinking, remains out of phase in Libra, your opposite sign and your relationship zone. So for some of you, you could be having issues with the people in your life, with your, the way you are with people one-on-one. -on -one. And if you are, you cannot let it affect other parts of your life. This is temporary. Mercury moves direct October 9. However, it's going to be stationary or it's going to be still until October 13. So really, you know, October 13 is when you should, you know, start moving ahead with things that you should have on hold right now. It's not a time to buy or lease a car or an apartment or a home or anything that's, you know, a major investment. It's just a time to rectify everything that you may have done in the past, review and uh, relax and reevaluate. Have a great week, great speaking to you. Keep your eyes peeled for that supermoon on Sunday. It's yours. Thanks so much for tuning in.